far right will always try different tactics to provoke a reaction. Our job is to ensure that that reaction is not taken on board and manifests itself in disorder. The far right have a right to be able to demonstrate, but that right is peaceful demonstration. Unfortunately, when the far right do attend, it starts to unsettle, in particular minority communities. It's only really through that engagement of those minority communities that we can then effectively police those demonstrations. The model that we've adopted uh, within Greater Manchester is the Connect model, and Connect bases itself on communication and engagement. Those are the core values. From a policing perspective, our community dynamics is a lot better now in terms of how we engage with those communities. There's less demonstrations in terms of disorder, there is less violence and certainly less attacks on minority communities. It's smart for the police addressing this kind of uh, ideological based extremist to try to be as soft as possible. We were actually patrolling the streets and uh, all of a sudden there were uniformed youth uh, out there. They expected us to arrest them. Instead we came and said we would really like to help you. And if you don't want to receive help from us we will use our time coming after you and arresting you. So it's really up to you. We are trying to make young people being recognized by people from their own neighborhood because it's not that easy to throw a stone, for instance, at the police. If there's a local police officer standing there and saying, hello, Peter, hello, Mohamed, that's not uh, that easy. We have no longer any right-wing extremists in the streets of Oslo. That's uh, a mainly a resource because uh, of how we intervened in this, both the police service and also a very close cooperation with the municipality.